Hey cuties, as was every spring, Life Wonders has released another campaign to distract us from the lack of events again. For this week, we received a part 1 pickup featuring a selection of themed units. What exactly is the theme this time? Isn't it obvious? They're all featured in the hit game Tokyo After School Summoners, of course. But how worthwhile are these distractions? Big Long ago, unique gameplay worlds lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Column Clear Nation attacked. Dave, while your kind has been getting more common, your debut on the same banner with other Column Clears like Akiha and Katobopas set the stage for what would become a staple design paradigm. In your case, you bring a whopping 26,000 damage per square in your poem, while amping the damage of allies beside you on a generous timing. But you do have some team amp unreliability and a loss of damage for moving out of place. Don't let no stranger fool you though, they deal is the largest damage in the game for 4 star comp clearing. Woo-wee! This here boy cow's the genuine article. A real rootin' tootin' sharpshootin' cowboy. Yamasashihiko! Sometimes, a man pines for the simple life. If you don't want to sweat over what combinations of units are optimal for what quests, Yamasachiko can promise you a basic life where hard effort lets you reap modest rewards. Place him near a squadron and he'll bring a humble but steady mix of charge fill, damage amp, and healing. Expect his brothers in arms to max their charge meters around every third turn, so long as they're in position. He also offers a way to shake off a couple of strongly disruptive effects from the enemy, ensuring you don't need to adapt your simple battle plan accordingly. He's not winning any best of awards anytime soon, but country guys make do. No water. This pep rallyist recently completed his thesis on cheerleading, and is now ready to be your wingman. Besides his team damage amp, damage emit, and charge fill, his cheering now becomes more fervent as his own charge meter is raised. Bestowing further damage amp and mitt, and Nitu Nobuharu now purges debuffs and enhances ally movement. He doesn't need to move for most of his support, so Nobuharu may be the perfect partner to your soul carry of choice. Just watch out for his own well being since he has no form of personal mitigation. His ability to carry his entire team must be because of those grotesquely massive leg muscles. Lifting a new personal best, this old dog managed to learn a couple new tricks. Amatsumara offers solid personal damage and ally damage amp, while getting his charge up quickly for even more damage. There are two major asterisks to his workout routine though. One of his ally amps is unlikely to trigger, so you'll need to rely on his double hit, good range, and personal rate boost to get it off. Another of his ally amps has a chance of dealing even less damage than without the amp, due to its implementation method. Matsumara gives the enemy an acquired defensive skill while giving allies advantage to that skill. With his buff steal, he can pilfer the enemy's acquired defense, but I would not count on that sub 50 rate. It's a shame the immaculate physique he built is more suited for show than it is for practice. Ryota. Rushing between food stalls so much has given Ryota a new edge over his competition across the festival market. He belongs to distant attractions every phase start with critical damage. And the extra food he secures, he shares with his allies, setting up a generous damage mitt and hot combination. His well-fed party tears apart competing foodies, with Ryota himself overfilling his own stomach before periodically purging its contents to maintain his beach body. He doesn't offer anything particularly flashy, but he's a trustworthy anchor of a friend to lean on to give you the security and confidence to overcome the many hardships and challenges of life. Kuniyoshi. Are such levels of Delulu even possible? After achieving a new level of reality rejection, Kuniyoshi is ready to instigate mass hysteria. His solid damage amp and defense mitt allows for team coordinated big damage within his proximity, and his buff denial ensures their fence is down and offense is precluded. Combined with some damage mitt and a quick charge for board wide damage denying position, Kuniyoshi rejects his opponent's reality and substitutes in his own. While his best uses are in enemy buff heavy challenges, his mastery of the fundamentals in damage and defense ensures he'll always be contributing in any quest. Oh, uh, Kuniyoshi, you may be unpopular for your callousness, but no one can deny the results from your earnest passion and craft. So, what are my thoughts on this banner? 
No, while this banner has many solid units overall, not a single one of them is particularly exceptional. Like most trending seasonal anime, you're unlikely to leave unsatisfied if you give it a try, but you're also unlikely to be left with a lasting impression. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next week!